Have you ever pondered on the magnitude of forgiveness and how it shapes our lives? This question, though seemingly simple, carries within it a profound wisdom that can transform our existence. It's an invitation to explore the depths of our own capacity for empathy, understanding, and ultimately liberation. Forgiveness as an act and a process carries a profound transformative power. It's not just about saying, I forgive you and moving on, but rather a journey that involves several stages, each of which requires a deep, introspective look into our hearts and minds. The first step in this journey is acknowledging the hurt. It's about being honest with oneself and recognizing the pain caused by others' actions. It's not about blaming or seeking revenge, but rather about confronting the reality of the situation. It's about admitting that yes, you have been hurt. Next comes the stage of understanding and empathy. It's about putting yourself in the shoes of the one who hurt you. It's about seeing their humanity, their vulnerabilities, their flaws. It's about understanding that they too are a product of their circumstances, their past, their own battles. This stage is not about justifying their actions, but about seeing them as human beings capable of making mistakes. The third step is making a conscious decision to forgive. This is perhaps the most challenging part of the process as it requires a deliberate choice to let go of the resentment and anger. It's about choosing to free oneself from the chains of bitterness and embracing the potential for healing and peace. Once this decision is made, you then need to work through the negative emotions. This stage is about allowing yourself to feel the anger, the sadness, the betrayal, and then slowly releasing them. It's about giving yourself permission to grieve, to feel, to heal. The penultimate step is releasing resentment. Resentment is like a poison that seeps into our hearts and minds, tainting our perceptions and emotions. Releasing resentment is about letting go of the anger and the bitterness and replacing them with understanding, empathy and compassion. Finally, we reach the stage of acceptance. Acceptance is about making peace with what happened and moving forward with your life. Remember, forgiveness does not always mean reconciliation. You can forgive someone without having them in your life. To summarize, the process of forgiveness involves acknowledging the hurt, developing understanding and empathy towards the offender, making a conscious decision to forgive, working through the negative emotions, releasing resentment, and finally reaching acceptance and optional reconciliation. This journey is not easy. It requires courage, strength, and a whole lot of patience. But remember, forgiveness is not about the other person, it's about you. It's about freeing yourself from the shackles of bitterness and resentment and embracing a life of peace, healing and growth. So take a moment, reflect, ponder on the power of forgiveness and how it can transform your life. Because in the grand scheme of things, forgiveness is not just an act, but a journey, a process that leads to liberation, peace and ultimately love.